actually going to be doing the, a workout from the push-pull program that we're getting ready to launch. That's what we're doing today. We're on uh, push today. All right, so rep sets, rest time. We'll give it all to you, but keep something in mind. This is a plug for an up-and-coming program, and it is badass. Oh, dude, you're gonna be pumped. All right. I do look like a bodybuilder. And I am loving it. We should be good. All right. Okay, here. Uh, I want you to go right here in the middle, in the, in the chest. This is a strong point, there you go. Ooh. 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 Mikey's energized. Start off with 40. Okay. Shoulder presses. Shoulder presses where? Right here. 30, go. Oh. Is he huffing and puffing? You must be a bodybuilder. Okay. Press that push down. Keep your elbows out. Elbows out. Elbows out. Elbows out. Yeah. Straight down. CrossFit. We got two more of those to go. So let's keep up in the weight. Two more what? Steps. Like that? Yeah. Good. Ten more one. Ooh. 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 All right. Love it. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. 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 Go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop. Pick it up. Come on, we got 12 more. Oh. Come on, let's go. Come yeah. on. Two. Uh. Come on. Three. Hey. Come on. Come on. Uh. Come on. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Two more. Uh. Up, 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 up. There we go. Come on, push it. That's it. Uh. Oh, fuck. You're bodybuilding. You're lifting heavy shit. Let's go. Come on. Uh. Four. Uh. 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 Ooh. Halfway there. Ooh. 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 Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Go, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven. Good job. Love being pushed. So for the people that are watching, this is a much different workout than what we've done. Yes. Right? I can feel it in the blood. I can feel it in my, in my metabolism, my metabolic rate. I can feel my heart rate elevated. I can feel it working my cardiovascular. Um, so why, outside of those obvious things for me, what else is going on? So this is what I call a giant set. Uh, we chose push, so we put shoulders, chest, and tries together. Big compound movements to get as much blood flow as possible. Uh, pretty much almost a failure. You could say this is the Arthur Jones principle. Okay. One set as much as we can. Three. Five. Come on. Three, four, and five. Nice. All right, all right. I'll take it. I think we're gonna do some machine work to give you a little bit of a break. Let your body recover. Do some fixed motion. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Come over here. Dirty 30. Yeah, look at those boulder shoulders starting to pop. Stay with 
And then we're gonna come over here. Bury your armpits. Keep your elbows in tight. Go, go. Just hold my back. Feel. You got a pump yeah. already? You think? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's do some shoulder rear delts. Let's go. Feet out in front, grab the handles, bent over, row. That's a lot of fucking weight. Yeah, it's not. Put your feet in front. In front right here. There you go, Stan. Good. <laughs> At Morelli Fit, we don't chase the pump. The pump chases us. That's right. <laughs> oh, shit. He's here. I'm ready for the first question. How to flatten bloat stomach? Um, so bloat is caused by thousands of things. And there's actually a book, a hundred, can't remember, I was just listening to a podcast. It was on Model Health Show, and it was a girl talking about 100 reasons why you could be bloating. Um, let's first off quickly say that you can, your body, right, we can actually fluctuate in weight five to seven pounds on any given day. So you get on the scale one day, all of a sudden you get on and, it, and you gain five pounds and you're like, oh my God, and you go crazy. Your body can actually fluctuate that much without it being fat, just with water and bloat. So a couple of things that I believe contribute, so bloat is a, is a response, right, by the gut. Usually there's some inflammation going on and then you bloat, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it's digestion, sometimes it's time of the month, sometimes it's because you're not drinking enough water, sometimes it's a, a specific food that you have that response to. And so the way that I like to really at attack bloat is one thing, start removing one problematic thing at a time to really pinpoint what it is. Because if you remove too much, you're not gonna know what exactly caused it. And if you remove everything at once, you could do that too, and you could slowly reintroduce things, right? You could do, you know, could go on like an elimination diet for 30 days and then slowly reintroduce things, and you can pinpoint it that way. The other thing, right, we sell Detox Organics. Not to do a plug here, but we sell Detox Organics, right? It helps you feel better. It helps with uh, digestive support. Uh, it has digestive enzymes in there. It's got lots of things to fight inflammation in the body, and so that really, really helps. Uh, in fact, a lot of people report, uh, report back to us that it has removed and eliminated their bloat, among other things, energy and and uh, you know, better <coughs> feeling all, all around. Can BCAAs help with weight loss? I wouldn't take BCAAs for weight loss. Um, BCAAs are great for, you know, so here's a couple of things about BCAAs. So I'm reading reports on BCAAs right now. There's some information coming back that uh, is kind of going against some of the claims that have been made around BCAAs. One of them uh, is, is stimulating muscle protein synthesis. So I'm, we're actually digging into this a little bit. I'll actually probably change my, for, my formula around to include a couple other things so that you can get a bigger benefit from them. Um, you know, I do think that they're great uh, and they help people drink more water, drink more fluid. I do think they're great for recovery. Um, uh, I do think for some people they, they ward off hunger. So I think for those reasons, they're really, really good. I think recovery, they're really, really good for that. I don't necessarily know that I would take them specific for fat loss. You have to take a look at your diet. And I can go off on a tangent and talk diet, diet, diet. When somebody comes to me and says, can this, do, can, can this help you with weight loss? My first thing is always going to be, what the fuck does your diet look like? Right? Because without, a, without the right you know, combinations of foods at the right times, there's no supplement, there's no training, nothing matters without first getting control around the one thing that matters most, and that's your diet. Do you still work around HitMax Elite or are you working around your new workouts? Is Elite, HitMax Elite still fat loss effective or your new ones beyond more effective? So HitMax Elite is still there. Uh, we still have over a thousand members and it is still very effective for fat loss. And in fact, if your goal is fat loss, I believe that that is a very effective way to drop body fat. The stuff that I'm doing now is more hypertrophy based. Um, when I cut body fat, I'll do high intensity interval training, but right now, like today was push-pull. It was uh, high rep, high volume, hypertrophy based. You know, the idea was to pump and push as many blood, uh, as much blood into the muscles as possible, create the hyper, hyper, 
hypertrophic response so that I can put on a little bit of size, although I think I'm done now. I've really, I've, I've hit the weights really, really hard. I've really focused on time under tension for the last four months, really ripping those muscles. You know, never in my life have I been more focused in the gym with regards to the muscle that I'm working. But even more specific, you guys, I'm gonna go off on a little tangent here because I think there's, good, there's value in it. All right, so I'm doing a pull. Right, and for example, I think we all want the, well at least guys, right, we want that, that cap shoulder, right, so you've got the, the front delt, you've got the side delt, and because my, my uh, range of motion absolutely sucks and I have my chest is pumped from the workout, I can't get all the way there, but then we've got the, the rear delt, right, and so the idea, asymmetrically, according to bodybuilding and, and those standards, is you want nice cap shoulders. And so when I'm doing a pull or I'm doing something rear delt, I'm going further than just thinking about that. I'm actually thinking about where in that vicinity I want that contraction. And I'm focusing so much and so tightly that I squeeze. I'm not lifting. I'm squeezing with my mind on that specific spot that I want to work. Usually it's a lagging spot, but my mind is right there on that muscle, so focused with so much intent. I believe that that is responsible for my, my gains in lean mass. I believe that focused training allows me to get the most out of my workouts, allows me to get the most deep contractions, allowing me to call and recruit on more muscle fibers at any given time. And when that happens, hypertrophy happens, and you get the response that you're looking for. So that's what, I'm been, what I've been focusing on. And right, subtle plug, Thrive. I take Thrive before my workout, 30 minutes every single day. You drop Thrive. For the thousands of you that are taking it, I'm not sure if you know this, but it is a great addition to any pre-workout. Take a pill, one pill, 30 minutes before you work out and tell me that you're not more focused, that you can't feel the, tr the contraction more, that you don't have the best workout that you've ever had by dropping a Thrive 30 minutes prior to that workout. It's insane. How can you maximize blood flow before you hit the gym? Before you hit the gym? I don't necessarily know that you need to hit, hit it before. Um, if you want to get that, uh, that, you know, the oxygenated blood, if you want to get things flowing, drink some beet juice. Uh, beet juice is a, is a natural vasodilator. Um, so I think, you know, if you're looking for something like that, it, is what it sounds like, sort of like a, you know, like a, if you're like one of the, you know, pump chaser or, a, you know, one of those pump formulas, one of the nitric oxide boosters. For me, I just, uh, some beet juice. Now in my stamina, which drops in about three weeks, there's actually beet, organic beetroot powder in there as one of the ingredients. So I'm actually taking stamina right now. It's got um, reishi mushroom, cordyceps mushroom, beetroot, and yerba mate. Uh, what a four herb combo. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So I'm looking forward to that, but I, I love the use of beetroot. Mm -hmm. Is there any side effects to these supplements? I am a, th I am a thank G for ladies over 50. Yeah. So, so the stuff that has my name on it, we've been doing this for three years now. Um, you know, when we say are there any side effects, so far there have been none. None to come into our awareness. I think anytime you're in this space, could there be a side effect that, you know, potentially someone down the road may experience? Yes, I, I, I think no matter what, when you're dealing with the magnitude of and the amount of people that we serve, it could potentially happen. But I want to distill it down to something very, very simple in what we do. Our, formula our formulations are the purest of the pure. I spend 24, 17 months, 24 months, two years on some of these formulas going back and forth. I try them myself. Um, you know, most of them are herbs, right? So if we're looking at Thrive, it's eight specific herbs, all found in nature. If we're looking at um, Boost, again, right? Those are herbs that are designed to support your thyroid, to help drive your metabolism and to elevate your BMR, to help you use calories more efficiently. My protein, again, five ingredients, grass-fed whey isolate. The formulations are impeccable. And that's why we've been talking about enhanced human performance. That's why we've been talking about raising your standard. If you look and you go to GNC and you turn all of the, the tubs around, you find your supplement, you turn around, you're gonna see commonality in almost, I would say 99% of the store, you're gonna see sucralose, and you're gonna see artificial flavors in dyes and red 40 and yellow, and you're gonna see you know, synthetic ingredients. You will see a lot of the same thing. You flip mine around, there's nothing artificial, there's nothing synthetic, there's no dyes, there's nothing artificial, there's no sucralose. Literally, we've, bare, we've, we've come down to the absolute bare essentials that the <clears throat> formula needs, and then we work with the scientists to formulate the flavorings so that they are, are 
a great flavor because let's face it, if they don't taste good, no matter how good they are for you, very hard to take something every single day religiously if it doesn't taste good. So taste is critical. But it's how do we get them to taste so well that you want to consume them every day without putting the harmful ingredients in. And that's attention to detail. That's back and forth in the labs, back and forth with the scientists. That's pushing back against the boundaries when they say it can't be done. It's Michael saying, no, it can be done. I want a little more chocolate. I want a little more cayenne finish. Right? It's saying, I want this, I want that. It's pushing them to boundaries that they've never been pushed before to create something that they've never created before that they don't even know that they can create until they've been pushed. And that's what we embody and that's where we're going with this. It's raise your standard. MFIT is coming this year and we are going to start taking market share from the companies in this world because we do it better, because we care, because we pay attention to the details, and because we will never sacrifice our integrity for anything. That's a fact. Someone said pills don't help. That's my experience, but maybe you can elaborate. They're not pills, they're veggie caps, and what's in them? So help me understand when he said pills don't help? Yes, because when they see Thrive, they see Boost, it looks like a pill, but right. it's not a pill. No, those are so, yeah, I mean, that's a good, good, you know, uh, good awareness, right? So I agree, first of all, let's see, you can't supplement your way out of a bad diet. Let's first, let's, let's break it down, right? I'm not telling you that you should buy a, a bunch of supplements and that that's what, that's what you should do. I'm saying, check your nutrition, check your training, get consistent, stay consistent, use that awareness and grow and progress through that training and nutrition. Once that is consistent, then it's add one supplement or two supplements at any given time that are catered and specific to that goal, that are just gonna add five or 10% to that already consistent and dedicated equation. I'm not saying supplements are the band-aid or the answer. In fact, a lot of people promote supplements at the band-aid or the answer. I'm saying our supplements are gonna help you raise your standard. Our supplements are gonna help you perform at your best. They are gonna enhance your body, your mind, and they are all herbs, right? So it's not just a pill that was made by some scientists in a bathtub. These are herbs that we find in nature, ginkgo biloba, uh, skullcap, schizandra, to name a few and thrive. Slippery elm, kelp, uh, bitter orange, yinema in our, uh, in our boost uh, product. So Google these herbs. Like I'm not, not just going in, you know, oh, Dr. Oz talked about uh, raspberry ketones. Let's just put some of that in our, this, you know, this week and sell a bunch of shit. That's not what we're here for. I'm not riding the trends. I'm not picking things up and putting them in because they sound good. We're doing things because they're gonna help you look and feel your best. They're gonna help you raise your standard and that's what we believe in have embodied and that's why we go to earth for our ingredients. That's why we're organic, that's why we're raw and that's why we continue to elevate. Thank you guys for spending a little time with me. Get on over to YouTube, get on over to Snapchat. We live it, we breathe it, we eat it, and at the end of the day, it's information for you to use however you choose. Google it, do your own research, dig, dig, dig. Most importantly, ask questions. Don't take it from me, don't take it from them. Get the information and make the smart choice. And above all else, raise your standard.